Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Crystal Dawn is suddenly popping up. Mm. Good timing, too. Hello, but I don't see what you, Zabuni or Harak, would do here. Hello, please. Not exactly. Hey, good I to see like you, Harak. Don't know him out in Zabuni. I don't like the military. I stand for uh, too much please, order attention. for my taste. But Harak has ideas you know, or an ideology that I can sympathize with. What do you mean? Well, he rejects the failed all? political dogmas of today. Democracy doesn't work, it's a powerhouse that fuels economic bubbles bursting like a leaf here. So you don't believe in democracy? Oh, no, 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 I do. I, I believe in it. I just don't believe in what it's become. A shield to cover up corruption, and you can't tell the difference between one party on the left and one on the right. It's confusing. Yeah, it is pretty depressing. And that's where I find Crystal Dawn interesting. Stay put. I'll look into it. All right. Take a look at my rare land. Soldier. I could just about strangle you. Stomach cramp. Homelander, open up those gates! Carry on. Hello, 
recruit? Thanks for responding so quickly. We never Whoa. expected it. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Okay, let's see. It is not fair. It is. It isn't. You can't keep me in here under these circumstances. Oh, come on! Yeah, Donald, I can't... No, I can't hear a word you're saying. Someone turn the TV on. I... No, hold on, I'm heading outside. Do Donald? Do Donald? Donald? Extremely excited about calling the I salute you, soldier. Weirdly excited. Well, I'm sure I can do something. Sack of shit! Oh, who's the big man now, huh? Say, Lisa, I know this is the biggest day of your life. Believe it or not, I cannot single-handedly create an international incident to gather my bridesmaid duty. Dolores, they might, but maybe you know. Anyone doubted oh, he did. Not the wheel. It's a graphical representation of a user tightening a flat. I've been very happy together. Oh, and Lisa. According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at a local clinic, has apparently already checked into the building. Connie Engstrom, masseur, here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Oh, Mr. Engstrom, please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Okay. That's nice. I'm going to have to search you, sir. Let me tell you a little story. Klaus Strandberg, Klaus Strandberg. Backward, go, go to the massage room. room. I can feel you're all man, if you don't mind me saying so. Klaus Strandberg, please go to the massage room. Blind colors. Go ahead, sir. With whom he had a daughter, Eva. Wait, Strandberg's a father? Ah, so the man with the golden touch. Uh, let's get started. Shall we? Ah, oh, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please, call me Klaus. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. Ah, oh, the 
That's the ticket. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people. Wanting to kill you. <laughs> Hell, uh, people are funny. The fact is, if those morons had bothered to learn the first thing about market investments, my scheme would never have worked. Greed and ignorance, my friend. Those are the cornerstones to any good con. But you see, easy money, that's all people care about so they can drive their ridiculous urban SUVs and drink wine on a Thursday, on a Tuesday, whatever, and tell each other how they've made it. It's pathetic. Target down. Next up, Razor Zaydan. The relaxed look, mister. The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African Liberation Movement. This encourages Moroccan citizens to rise up and take justice into their own hands, which of course is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very clever. Now, according to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to wear masks.
Ooh, sister. That girl you went out with last year. Hey, got one left. I'll go find a spot and then we head back to the school. How's that? Sure, we'll wait. Walking, sir. Don't touch anything. I want ink everywhere. Done. Let's head back. Yeah, why not? I'm out anyway. You do wedding invitations? No? Okay.
time is that revolution anyway? Snail soup, snail soup. Yo, what's up, print boy? About time. Go straight to the printing room. General Zayden has an announcement to make, and you boys do not want to keep him waiting. Hey, tell Michael in the print shop to stop texting my girlfriend. Really nice, man. General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. So, what'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was going to be killed on the hill when he parked the bags in front of the prison. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, 47. This ought to get Zaydan's attention. So what do you do? Attention, everyone! You may that have done a is fine General Reza Zaydan, keeper of the peace. On everyone's lips. That is why we are expanding the campaign to the other city districts and suburbs. What the? This means there will be no breaks, not until the job's done. So whatever you do, just keep those printers running. Don't do that again! Smug fucking bastard. Thinks he can get away with this. The metal... They'll know. Rise up again.
Gets down. Now head towards an exit. Feel free to shove me, no. Compromised, but I I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But his plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. It probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern, and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. was there money <laughs> the money mr. Fannin information on all of our assets and operatives like you take a trench director and make it a deep one because none of you are safe anymore <laughs> <laughs> 